Hello everyone, I'm Sean, alright, and this is Everyday Food Reviews. Today we've got a bit of an energy drink comparison video for you. We've got Rockstar Blueberry Pomegranate and Akai versus Rockstar Blueberry Pomegranate and Akai Fully Loaded. Yeah, so this is something I've been wanting to look at for a while with John. John's on the keto diet at the moment. Uh, this can expires in October. Uh, this can expires in September. We've had we've had these quite a while, so um, it's got a couple of issues. Obviously, a John's on keto. B, as of yesterday, uh, today's Saturday. Uh, yesterday, they announced a uh, local lockdown in Liverpool and the whole of Merseyside and Warrington, uh, which you know we, we expected. The uh, cases had been. Very, very high. Um, not a lot of people had been taking it very seriously, so w w we expected it. Um, you know, when when we have met up indoors to do videos, we have tried to maintain some level of distancing. But now, the new rules practically mean very little. Um, but the, the one thing they do ex um, they do impact is meeting indoors to do videos together. Uh, we won't be able to do that. Um, for the foreseeable future, regardless of um, social distancing indoors, but you know we we, we were doing all right um, until we we met up. We only actually ended up doing a few videos. We only met up a couple of times before these rules come in. So you know if if we were all right then, we'll be all right now going forward. Now, as I said, I've had these a while. I think it was actually. Last November, I picked these up to do to do this video. Since then, this one has had a new rendition with 25% more flavour and 25% more caffeine. Um, I I didn't feel like I could do three cans in one video, otherwise I'd have got that one as well. We have reviewed that one separately though. Uh, this one. This video is just going to be comparing this to this because theoretically the only difference between these two should be the sugar. This one has a lot more because this one is a newer one. Well, actually this one's a newer one, but this is a newer one that's made to the older recipe that this one replaced because it always used to have 69 grams of sugar which is what this one has but then this one come out with the sugar levy and come out with 24 grams of sugar in the can you know that's why we call it half sugar even though this one in particular is much less than half you know because most of the drinks had about 10 11 grams they had to halve the amount of sugar if they wanted to stay at the same price uh, monster just put the prices up a bit rockstar opted for cutting the sugar in half um well less than half nearly nearly a third um but then a lot of, there was a lot of backlash, and they brought out this instead. But we'll 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 start on this, and we'll talk more about them. Uh, if if you do want to see a video comparing this to the two hundred milligram one directly, let us know, and that that can be something that I either do just like this, or we can wait until John's off keto. Do that some point in the future, but let us know sooner rather than later, because I don't know how difficult this is going to be to get going forward I think the new one is going to be replacing it obviously these two were sold side by side I think the fully loaded one still is sold but I think the 200 milligram one now is going to be just replacing this one outright and you won't be able to get this anymore yes it smells familiar it smells like the um, the rock star we know but as I said there was a lot of backlash um, from a lot of people. I wasn't too bothered because the main thing stopping me from getting this Rockstar more often was actually the fact that it had um, so much sugar in it. Cheers. Now that, that still tastes so sweet. It still tastes like it's got sugar in. I mean it still does have sugar in. You know. So 4.8 grams per 100 mil. You know, that, that's pretty standard now. 
we call it half sugar, but really maybe we should be calling that standard and calling everything else double sugar. That's that's nice. I, I do enjoy this. I do enjoy it, and I, I'm I'm excited. I've been, I've been excited to do this side by side comparison because, you know, I've always always enjoyed this years ago when they changed it. I still enjoyed it, but I, I've not had this um, fully loaded one. Having them side by side, I'm going to hopefully be able to appreciate what it is that I'm missing when they changed it because apparently I didn't have it enough to realise. Yeah, it's nice. It's 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 it is a very sweet flavour. It's not very it's not very tart. I I would like it if it was a bit more tart. But you can I don't know if it's my imagination, but this looks a bit darker. Oh, it's funny, it smells bitter. But this one smells very sweet. This one smells kind of bitter. Cheers. It really is a very different taste. I'm hoping it's not just that it's gone off, but it, it tastes almost like a um, like a fermented drink, like a cider or something. It's much much thicker. It does taste more natural. Like I say it, it tastes like you're drinking. I don't know, more like a Copperberg or something, you know, if you've had that. Uh, of course, you won't have done if you're under 18, but if you're under 18, you probably shouldn't be um, making the decision to uh, destroy your body with these uh, this caffeine and the sugar anyway. You know, this is for grown men who are chemically dependent on it. Yeah, so save save the chemical dependence for when you start working and you start to have these. Uh, when the when the um, the sense of existential dread starts to overwhelm you and um, be the the main sort of overbearing force over your whole life, then start looking for chemical dependencies that that'd be that'd be my advice until then just um and enjoy enjoy your childhood yeah this is um not it's not what i expected and it's it's obviously not what i remember um i just mustn't have had it often enough cuz it it's got a similar sort of flavor but it, it tastes so different it tastes drastically different. Excuse me. If if you were to say what what flavour is it, I could maybe tell you. You know, blueberry and pomegranate. I don't I don't know what acai tastes like. I don't even know if I'm saying it right. But I'd I'd, I'd say they both meet that description. But this this one just tastes so much different. It does taste much thicker. It does taste more syrupy. But it, it also tastes more natural. It does say no artificial sweeteners or colours. It doesn't mention flavours, so presumably they've got the same flavours in there, but the we probably rejigged them to better balance out with the artificial sweeteners. You know, if if everything else was the same and they just replaced sugar with sweeteners, it's it's not gonna taste as similar. You need to rejig things a bit. So maybe they've actually sort of rejigged it and ended up further away. I, I don't know, but they're, they're both nice. They are very different. If 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 you're a big fan of this one, I can understand why you'd be upset when this come out and it tastes nothing like it. I think this one's got a bit more tartness to it as well. It's uh, it's more syrupy, but it, it does have a bit of a, a bit of a tartness. Well, it's more of an aftertaste than anything else. Yeah, wouldn't recommend drinking it every day. Sixty nine grams of sugar. It, they've both got the standard amount of caffeine, I assume. I've not even looked. I'm starting uh, getting lazy with these videos. We've got niacin B6E, 32 milligrams per 100. There it is. 32 milligrams per 100. Not recommended for children. So you're on the same way. I wouldn't recommend it to children either. 
or pregnant or breastfeeding women. Please consume responsibly. I don't think there's any other way to consume something with 69 grams of sugar and 160 milligrams of caffeine other than responsibly. But, yeah. <clears throat> Which one would I recommend? If you've not tried either of them, I'd recommend this one. Because if I was to recommend this one, and you have this one, and you like this one, and then you try this one, you think, well, phew, I like the one with 69 grams of sugar, I'm going to get that. You're having 69 grams of sugar every day, and that's not a good thing. So if, if you've not had this one, I wouldn't bother with it. Personally, I do prefer this one, but I can understand how if you tried this one first and you'd gotten used to this one, you're going to prefer this one. And it's it's got nearly three times the amount of sugar. But, yeah, assuming it does taste the same as the old one. Oh, well, one, th one thing I would mention with, with this one, it's got... It's got a gold top on the can. Now we've we've mentioned oh and the, the, the main distinguishing thing about it is it's, it's gold here, Rockstar's in gold and it says fully loaded and gold there. That's how you can tell them apart. And it's price marked at 129 because it can't sneak in at 99p getting under the sugar levy. Not quite. But yeah, the the gold top makes me and the, the gold star on it, it it makes it feel like a kind of special brew or something. But, you know, given what I've said, maybe this is the special brew of energy drinks anyway. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I'd, I wouldn't not recommend this one. But just be aware going into it, it's got, it's got so much sugar in. You know, Pacific Punch has a lot of sugar in. I mean, really, it's not got much more than that. But... Yeah, it's it's, it's alright for a novelty. So it's, it's alright for a novelty. And uh this one, that could that could be your daily driver. I mean it's it's half sugar. It's 99p. It's still gonna be far too much sugar if you're on keto or something. You know, uh, like like John is at the moment. Got twenty four grams in the can. But yeah, that there, there, there we go. Um I'll, I'll I'll wrap it up there. I've waffled on on tangents got distracted I'm doing that now it's um it's just how we roll thanks very much for joining us stay safe follow the rules we'll see you next time cheers